Hi everybody, welcome again to Active Self Protection Extra. On today's video, once again, we are in my entryway, my foyer and sitting room here at ASP National Headquarters, uh, Casa de Korea. And um, I am working with the Blackbeard X to work on the, the transition dynamics that the Blackbeard is so good, the Blackbeard X, at helping us get objective data. And I wanna work on it today and encourage you to do the same. Dark Star Gear is one of the few companies that I trust to make holsters that I wear. They make high quality appendix carry holsters for a variety of firearms manufacturers. Check them out at the link in the description. Now I wanna say like I always do that you do not have to have a Mantis Blackbeard X in order to do this. You, you can do this at home. We're gonna work two inch circles at 10 yards. Um, and what it does uh, for me to have the Blackbeard is it throws a laser so I know if I got a hit or not because I have slaved this laser to my sight which I have already zeroed. But, uh, you know, again, so that gives me incredible good feedback. When we add the Blackbeard X, it's going to actually give us objective data on what our muzzle is doing when the shot breaks with 100% shot detection. So it is incredible, and that'll help us. But if you don't have this, you can do this with a, a carbine without any of the fancy stuff on it. You just won't get an actual trigger break, and you have to be 100% honest about whether you got a hit. So as you drive that transition, you have to tell yourself, am I, am I overdriving, am I underdriving? And so it really takes a lot more processing power where this one I could just focus on my sights and my trigger and then look afterwards and go, okay, was I getting what I wanted to do? So what are we doing here? Well, on this, the, the Blackbeard X Dynamics drill, what you're doing is picking any number of targets that you want and your goal is to not waste time and sit on target. So as soon as you get a hit, you're gonna start moving to the next target, driving the gun. As soon as you arrive at the next target, you wanna break the shot and then move again so that you continually get that target movement so that what it's looking at and what it's gonna show us is it's gonna say, oh, okay, you moved over and then sat there a while and then moved over and sat there a while. And how we're gonna do that, we got the ASP target down here and there are 10 two inch circles, so yes, I'm gonna be shooting two inch circles at 10 yards, which is the equivalent of shooting a chest box at 40 yards, which is not a joke, right? So, I mean, this is not, th these are small targets. So we're talking about somebody very far away, or again, maybe an ocular cavity on somebody up a little bit closer. With a, a rifle, this is not as hard as doing it with a pistol. So we're gonna get all that stuff done. But what we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna try to shoot all 10 dots. So, but I'm not gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one, then six, come back two, then seven, three, then eight, four, then nine, five, then 10. So I get long transitions on each one of them, okay? So I get as long as they are. That, that paper is, I think it's um, 36 inches across. And so, you know, it's almost a three foot transition on each of them. All right, let's shoot it a little bit. Shut up and let's quit talking about it and let's get one. All right, I'm ready. Oh. Okay, so I made my transitions different than I thought I was gonna on that one um, uh, and, and didn't do it right, but we'll, we'll go with it. So this scored me a little less than 90. Um, and, and what I wanna pay attention here is a dot nine three dot eight seven. I got a five seven six six five four six zero six three nine zero five one five seven. It's pretty impressive. So if we look, I wanna see, you know, cause these are small targets, right? So let's look and see what our shots are here. We did 10 shots total. So my first shot here came up and you saw I had to kinda, I, I came up to it and then came back down to it a little bit. And that's exactly what I did. Drove up a little high and then came in back down. Drove over to the next one and, and again, a little bit of, of overage and back, but it's a small target. Down in the next one, I got a good shot break. You saw that one show up in the middle there which was pretty good, drove over, down a little far and up. Okay, so I gotta fix that a little bit because what I did then is I drove down and back up to it. Not too bad, but a little bit of work to do there. Then drove uh, kind of in a circle. I kind of have a habit of doing that, of kind of coming back and around like that. I gotta work on that habit a little bit. Over to the right and then a, a good pitch up. Okay, just a tiny one down and right a little bit. Still, you know, not a great shot. They don't like that because I overdrove and then came back just a little bit, but all right. Uh, ooh, a little pitch up and then back down. Not a great shot there. So I'm, I'm driving a little bit, maybe driving with the gun. That one, not too bad at all. And then finally on the last one, really like that last shot. Now I'm gonna actually try to do it the way that I said and go one, six, two, seven and go from there. Missed the last shot. Tenth shot, I was over to the right. So that one would be a miss. Wouldn't be the shot that I want. But let's check out and see what we did. 
I did it the right way that I liked at that time. So let's kind of see what it's doing for us here. Now you see we're hitting seven, five, six, three, five, seven, five, seven, six, six, seven, two. So I'm somewhere between a five, seven and a seven, six, as far as splits go, um, you know, which I mean, for, for a small target, um, I'm not too upset about. Uh, I, I want to see at this distance, if we move to the eight inch circle, what I can do with that. And I also want to look here. My shot scores were pretty good, except for my first one there wasn't super great. Let's see what we had here. So the first one, I, I don't know why they should call that a 74, maybe because I hesitated too long. Okay. Uh, came over and again, looped it around, went a little too far on that one back over and I'm looping a little bit here. Yeah, you can see me kind of driving and then over correcting a skosh, a little less there. Kind of kind of hit my groove a little bit here right in the middle and you probably saw that in my pace down and over to it, but still got my hit, drove up and out, it still had my little loop there. So what you can see is that I'm looping just a little bit and I need to work on that. Uh, interesting stuff, thankfully my last shot, uh, but of course it was too far to the right. I should have looped it back around. I missed it, which is why it looks so great there, but it wasn't fantastic. You know what I'm gonna try this time? I'm gonna go back and forth on the eight inch circle and I'm gonna just drive back and forth on that for 10 shots and see what that does for me when I'm seeing it. All right. Okay. Boy, I'm telling you, uh, once I kind of got going there a little bit and I was still driving my eyes, um, I will say one interesting thing is I can actually see both of these inside of uh, the viewing window of the optic. So I didn't really have to shift my eyes very much. And that made for a whole lot better stuff. Uh, and you can see the one thing that you see here, no delay. I, I kind of ambushed each time, kind of waited for it to come in there. And as soon as I saw it getting close, I went ahead and broke the shot. And you see, we're running transitions here, 6248514143544444. So I'm running, you know, I had a, point, a, a three nine in there, but really, uh, you know, somewhere a three nine to a five one with really good shots all the way through and I'm not uh, delaying. Let's go back to the, to the two inch dots now and see if we can kind of clean that part up a little bit. Okay, got them cleaned up at the end there. Um, I just noticed something. One well, thing that I noticed there that I was doing, and, and this is good um, uh, individual kind of knowledge. So I was taking my finger off the trigger and I wasn't maintaining my trigger finger on there. Um, and that probably slowed me down and gave me a hard time. So a lot more delay on this one. Uh, my first shot, not so great. Let's see, shot number one, kind of hung out and tried to figure out what was going on. Uh, see that same thing, kind of slowed it up just a little bit. Yeah, so we see now as I kind of started figuring it out, there's where it starts getting okay. It starts doing a lot better. And really what that was is my trigger finger placement um, and not losing contact with the trigger between shots is where what I really started doing. And man, those really started cleaning up and you can really see that. And if you were paying attention as I did it, those were actually good hits. So oh, let's try it again and let's try to think about our trigger finger staying in contact. <laughs> so I did it, but it was a mess because I missed a whole bunch. Uh, it's just, uh, my delay was so much less, but uh, I mean, and my score seemed high, but quite frankly, I was just missed central on that. Let's reset and try again. Okay, I was right on the edges of some of those. I did miss one, so I reshot it. That's why I had an 11 shot. Okay, uh, not too shabby, all things considered. So a dot nine first shot, I had to come up to it. It wasn't a great shot. And then again, the fours, fives, sixes, fours, fives. And, and I think I got my shots there. I might've missed one. Um, but this is, a, I think, a great drill just to work on. Can I see faster and can I maintain my trigger condition? Now, I will say, if you've got a GI spec trigger, it's gonna be harder for you. So this is a great one and a great reason to do the Blackbeard X. Now. Again, if you don't have a Blackbeard X, you're gonna have a, you know, first trigger is gonna go click, and then after that, it's just gonna go mush, 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 which you're gonna have to deal with, right? And that's okay, just be honest with yourself. What am I doing here? Am I actually seeing it? Where was my sight when the shot actually broke? And you'll just have to be really, really honest with yourself. Uh, I get to be really honest with you because I gave you data, and so, you know, yay, everybody will be able to tell me where I made big mistakes. But 
uh, setting up something like this and getting out there and training and in the comfort of your own home. I didn't spend any money on ammo today and I got a lot of data and some good reps. I hope you try something like this and make yourself better.